MSA Sports Center stage and your BSN Coaches Interview of the Week with Don Hall of the Gateway Gators. Coach, congratulations on the big victory tonight over Penn Trafford. The victory belt comes back to Monroeville near the 21 game winning streak for Penn Trafford. Talk about how that feels, first of all, for beating your rivals tonight. Well, you know what? I, I want to start with just congratulating the heck out of our kids and our coaching staff. You know, our, our players, uh, everything that we do out there is that. And, uh, and they executed the game plan and they played their hearts out and uh, they got the result they deserved. And I thought our, our, you know, our defensive coaches had a great plan. I thought we were aggressive on both sides of the ball, made some big special teams plays, um, took care of the ball pretty well, and I think those are the, the things that make a difference. Tonight's game, it seemed like they weren't prepared for the speed that you were going to run your offense at. It seemed like you had their defense caught them on their heels all night. Uh, is that a strategy that, that you plan coming in here, or is it just the way you guys always play? That's how we play, and, and, and I think uh, it can create some issues for defenses, but obviously it still comes down to execution and being in the right spot, and lots of falls on the quarterback and the offensive line, but those guys played really great football tonight and for long stretches of the game. And, yeah, I thought um, we did a good job of staying aggressive. Quarterback was one of the matches we talked about coming in here, two of the best quarterbacks in 5A. Brady Walker had a nice night tonight. A uh, really good job. He really manages the offense. Looks calm despite everything going on around him with all those moving parts. Talk about his play. Yeah, we asked him to do a lot. You know, he's going to be a runner for us and obviously a thrower and distribute the ball to a lot of people. Some people say it's like a point guard. I'd like to say maybe it's more a shooting guard. He's got to make the, make the score happen, make the play happen. And, um, and he's really good. So um, we're blessed to have him. And, Oh, last couple of years for Gateway, dropped down the Triple A. It wasn't a very successful stint. But back here in Five A so far, you seem to have the ship going in the right direction. What have you brought in this to, to this team? I mean, obviously, you have previous experience at Seneca Valley, then up in Erie before that. What have you brought in this year that's made this Gateway team a lot different than it's been in the years past? Well, I'm not sure that uh, it's anything I'm doing other than the fact that we've got some great assistant coaches and some really, really good players who have bought in. You know, um, I hope that we're doing. You know, the right things as far as building the culture and, and, uh, and doing things the right way. Um, but again, it all circles back to the buy in. We got a lot of guys who are working very hard and being successful. Usually it ends up pretty well, and that's the case. Very tough conference, and they're looking at the standings. Everything's very tight with the results tonight. Uh, Kiski out of conference, so their result doesn't matter, but everybody's kind of in the thick of it. You guys have a pretty tough schedule the rest of the way. After after Plum next week, you have three playoff contenders in a row. Uh, looking ahead, what do you guys need to do to not only claim a playoff spot, but maybe still get a piece of this conference crown? Well, you know, I, I don't even want to look past next week. That'd be crazy. You know, Plum is a, a well-coached football team, a good friend of mine, runs that show, and they uh, they got a lot of pride and a lot of good players. So yeah, we want to be talks about offense, and that's always an exciting part of the game. The defense tonight was really good for you guys. You came up with three interceptions tonight and, and were able to hold Penn Trafford to six points. You give them some points against in some of the previous games, but what was the difference here tonight where you guys were so strong on the defensive side of the ball? Well, I, I will say, you know, the the opener against Woodland Hills, you know, and, and taking them away from them, we, we had a punt block for a touchdown. We had a, a fumble return for a touchdown. Um, we gave him a short field on another interception return. So we kind of put our defense in some bad spots and gave up some points that night, but largely our fault on offense and special teams as a group. Um, as far as um, you know, the Armstrong game, you know, we, we, we played well for part of the game. He's, he's made a bunch of plays. The dude, that kid, uh, you know, made some plays, and uh, we, you know, certainly they, they won that. That's how they got their, their points. But in the other games, we've been pretty stifling, and I think our defense has, has kind of found its identity. And a lot of confidence in what we're doing. And you know how it should be, is every week you should get a little better at what you do and a little more comfortable and a little more confident. And, and that's, I think, the, the case here. Um, uh, those, I think these guys recognized uh, the importance and, and the challenge of who we were playing in our stadium. And, and, they, uh, and they, I think they got after it on defense as well as, as, uh, you know, as we've seen all year. Well, I hear the victory bell ringing in the locker room, so go ahead and enjoy it. Don Hall, head coach of the Gateway Gators, your BSN Sports Coaches, matchup of the week winner here on the MSA Sports Network. Thank you.